Wendy's has a new item out, and I'll be trying it out. Today, I'm going to partake in some food, the likes of which I have never tried before. Thanks for the money, dummies. <laughs> band, 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 band. The camera's been on the whole time. Bouncy, bouncy. I'm actually a virgin. <gasps> Fucking piece of garbage disc. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Hello everyone! After years of you guys actually bringing it up, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna do something interesting. Today we are going to try Firehouse Subs. Oh yeah, people recommended that all the time to Phil, right? Yes. There actually is one out here, near me, 45 minutes away. First of all, this is a large sub. Look at the size of it. It's a full foot, right? It is huge. And in its own like cardboard protective shell, right? It's kind of interesting. I never really seen a sub shop deliver a sub sandwich like that to you in like a shell. At least the sub should be intact even though it took quite a while to get here. Now they have a ton of different firehouse subs at this place. Ham, turkey, salami, pepperoni, roasted beef, ch uh, what do you call it, a bacon? They have meatball subs. They have tuna salad, a huge menu. I'm telling you, from what I'm to understand, the thing that makes them stand out is their bread is like super duper good and they load their sandwiches. This place apparently really goes to town when they load up a sandwich. I can tell you, this is heavy. This is not a light sandwich at all. It is a heavy, heavy ass sandwich, okay? And you might say, what did I get? I decided to get one called the Firehouse Hero, like a superhero meal. <clears throat> So, it's supposed to have a combination of meats. Roast beef, turkey, ham, you know, salt, pepper, and all that stuff on top of it as well. Plus, I think it actually has mustard, too. So, it's like a fully loaded deluxe sandwich. Why didn't you open it yet? Because I'm talking. We're going to give it a look. You ready? Let's see what it looks like live together. Oh. Already, I see ham sticking out the side. Look at that bread. It's got like like lines on top of it, right? Oh yeah, it's got like a harder, crustier outside to it. Sure it does. That's nice bread. Look at all the meat coming off the side there. That looks pretty dang good to me. I don't know about you guys. Although I can tell you, it got some stuff on the edge here. It's all gooey. Oh man, this is an interesting cross section. Wait till I show you the cross section of this sandwich, okay? Look down the middle. What can I see? I can see turkey. I can see ham. I see lettuce, tomato, onion. I can even see the melted cheese on there. Look at those layers. That's a lot of meat. I did tell them that I wanted the pickle, but I don't see it. I think I got cheated out of my pickle. I said pickle. They didn't give me a pickle. By the way, I think it has a pickle too, so I might want to take the pickle out. So first off, I'm just going to taste the ham. It's sweet. It's a very sweet ham. All right, well, this is gonna be interesting to eat because it's gonna go everywhere. You know once I start eating, it's gonna explode. So let's just go. I'm gonna take my first bite. Here we go. It's delicious. And just to show you guys, there's moisture on the, look at that, see that beads? That's moisture. That's beads of moisture that came out of the sandwich onto my plate. So this thing is incredibly moist and juicy and full of flavor. Mmm. Yes, it's a paper plate. Did you really think I wanted to bring a, a, a porcelain plate in here and try to balance it on my lap and then break it? No, it's a paper plate. <laughs> I'm continuously eating, and I actually brought in a Schweppes ginger ale, thinking, oh, I'm gonna need this to wash it down. It's so moist. I'm not having any problems continuously just eating it. I can just keep going. It's a very moist, delicious sandwich. It's so moist and good, I don't need the drink. I literally brought the ginger ale in here for no reason. It's so delicious and so moist. By the way, look, it's not dripping. It's all on there perfect, no drippage, nothing. It's just exactly the right amount of everything. I like the bread, but I do feel like basically it got soggy on the bottom because I could deliver it. See how it's soggy on the bottom? I feel like if I had gotten it fresh, it probably would have been much better. And there's nothing you can do about that. They're too far away from me. I wouldn't even go there to eat. It's too far. Yeah, the bread is delicious. Kind of gooey on the inside because of all the condiments. Yum. Let's keep going. Mmm. 
The one thing I would say I don't taste at all is turkey. It looks like they barely took, put any turkey on it. Like I see like seven, eight slices of roasted beef. Then I see maybe like four slices of ham. And I see like one to two slices of turkey on there. And that's why I don't taste it. Don't know why they did that. I feel like there should have been more turkey. <laughs> It's good, man. However, having this beard, eating something like this, it makes it a more messy endeavor because things like the sauce and everything get all over your face and then it gets in the beard. And there's not much you could do about that. My face is just gonna smell like this all day. I lost the tomato. Damn it. I lost the damn tomato. Someone says, am I just gonna eat this? Did I get anything else with it? No, I got a large sandwich. I'm not gonna get anything else because number one, it's huge. I knew it would be. And number two, it certainly was not cheap. It was expensive. I ordered it for delivery. So I don't know how overinflated the prices are, you know, for delivery. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very good. The flavor is outstanding. The bread is good. No complaints besides not enough turkey. Mason's is DSP versus food. One thing that's weird, they have shows like that, right? So-and-so versus like food challenge or something. I'm like, versus? You're not fighting the food. It's not much of a challenge. The food isn't moving and trying to escape. I don't understand that. I feel like, I feel like food is combat, right? It's not combat. <laughs> Spawn killers, I should have gotten chips. I have chips if I want them. I'm not gonna want them. This sandwich is too big for it to have anything else with it. It's huge. Wow, that's superbly good. High quality deli meat, not like, you know, something that's refrigerated or something like fresh cut in the deli. They packed it with meat. It tasted amazing. The veggies taste fresh. The bread is really good. It's not shitty bread like some of the other sandwich places have. Um, and the sandwich is huge and loaded and packed. The one problem is the price, it's expensive. If you're a broke boy, just say so. If you're gonna get a big sub there, you're gonna pay a lot of money. But as long as you're looking for a really good meal, I think you're gonna get it there. So that's the first half. I don't know if you guys want me to eat the other half or not. I could, I'm hungry enough. Only thing I ate today was a bagel this morning. That was it. Go ahead, eat it. People want me to eat it. All right, the other half. Marvelous looking. Look at that. Now that's a cross section. You can see it pretty well there. Yeah, look at that. It looks good, right? Hell yeah. The only problem is it's soggy on the bottom because it's been sitting in this box for a long time to get here. And that's exactly what I was afraid was gonna happen. Now it's completely sogged up. It's mushy on the bottom, which really sucks. If they were closer, it wouldn't have had time to soak in like this and become completely saturated. Okay. So there's one, I have to eat it like this over my lap. Any other direction, it's gonna go everywhere because it is completely mushy on the bottom. Okay, I have an interesting suggestion. When it comes to sandwich bread, traditionally the top of sandwich bread is thicker and tougher than the bottom, right? Why? When you stack things on sandwich bread, all the weight goes to the bottom and the condiments go down because of gravity and soak the bottom. So if you know that the top of bread is tougher, why not bake it, cut it, flip it, and make the sandwich upside down? If my sandwich was made like this, it probably wouldn't be soaked. It probably would be fine, right? The sandwich would have come out much better that way. I think it would have, because it tastes great, but it's all over my hand. Time to start a sandwich business, upside down sandwiches. There you go. Phil's sandwiches turning the business on its head. Now someone steal my idea and go start this immediately. I literally have no complaints except the sogginess of the bread. There's nothing they could have done about that because of the delivery time. Unless I ordered a dry ass sandwich, which I didn't want to do. Mmm, bread is good. This bread's better than Subway. It's better than Potbelly. It's better than Blimpy. It's better than Jimmy John's. Better than Jersey Mike's. It's the best bread. It's so good. I'm being told I'm making people hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Mmm. Mmm. Did I get secret sauce? I don't even know what that is. No. I'm almost full, man. I don't know if I can finish it now. My stomach is hitting me now. It's like, that's too much. Damn it. My hand is soaked. My hand is completely soaked. That's how much stuff is on. It's all pouring down my hand from holding it. I'm gonna be in a coma soon, I think. After eating all this. Yay! Wow. Yummy. All right, 
Dawn, I ate the whole damn thing. Damn, that was an amazing sandwich. Best bread I've ever had on any kind of a sandwich like that. Most meat. I don't think I've ever had a sub like that that's had that much meat on it before. It's called the Firehouse Hero from Firehouse Subs. Large size on white. And that was really, 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 really good. The one bummer is the price. It's expensive. This is not something I would normally get because it's so expensive. All right. Firehouse Hero. Fire, I can't even say it. Firehouse Hero from Firehouse Subs. Flavors, two thumbs up. Ingredients, two thumbs up. Little skimpy on the turkey, I'll admit, but still tasted amazing. The bread was the best I've ever had, but the price is kind of high. I mean, it says it all. This is how it got delivered. It got delivered in a professional cardboard eggshell package meant to withstand anything so your sandwich is intact when it shows up. Why does everyone else not do this? Because they don't care. Why do they give a shit if your sandwich shows up in intact or not? They made it, it's out the door, they have no more responsibility. Firehouse wants you to get a quality product. They go the extra mile. Firehouse subs, I recommend it. That is delicious. And I hope you enjoyed feasting with Phil. I'll see you all next time. Peace out. See you guys later. Oh, fuck. I'm so close to finishing. You're splurging.